Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of the 360 Daily Show, where we bring you the latest news in fashion and lifestyle. I'm your host, Adeze Adwaka, and these are the headlines. Tyler gets a double win at the 24th BET Awards. Shaquille O'Neal parties with Hawk to our girl in Nashville. Drake fans ambush Rick Ross after he plays Kendrick Lamar's diss track at Canadian Music Festival. And Young Miami leaves little to the imagination on 2024 BET Awards red carpet. And on our trending segment, Tyler gets a double win at the 24th BET Awards. The 24th BET Awards brought together stars from the entertainment industry, media, sports, and beyond at the Peacock Theatre in Los Angeles yesterday. And the celebrities stepped out in their finest attires, turning the red carpet into a runway of fashion with their most glamorous looks. Hosted by actress Taraji P. Henson for the third time, the BET Awards is an annual American awards show established to celebrate black entertainers and other minorities in music, film, sports, and philanthropy. Victoria Monet's All My Mama and her both the BET Her Award and Video of the Year, and Regina King took home Best Actress. Also, Thames won the Dr. Bobby Jones Best Gospel and Inspirational Award for her song Me and You. And on our sports segment, Shaquille O'Neal parties with Hawk to our girl in Nashville. She coughs up saliva on his microphone. Even Shaquille O'Neal is a fan of Hawk to our girl. The NBA legend and Haley Welch were spotted hanging out behind the DJ booth at John Bon Jovi's new restaurant at Rooftop Bar, JBJ's Nashville, Sunday night. O'Neal, whose stage name is DJ Diesel, was cranking the tunes as a 23-year-old jammed out beside him per a fan video. At one point, Welch gave the crowd a loud hawk tour, even spitting on the microphone as the crowd cheered. And onto our editorial segment, Drake fans ambush Rick Ross after he plays Kendrick Lamar's diss track at Canadian Music Festival. Drake fans attacked Rick Ross for playing Kendrick Lamar's diss track about the Canadian-born rapper during Sunday's IAs Sing in a video posted to Instagram. The two groups began arguing as Lamar's diss track played in the background. The verbal confrontation escalated quickly, with one man getting into Ross's face before punching him in the head. An all-out brawl began immediately after, with men from both groups kicking and punching one another until one of them ended up on the ground at Night Music Festival in Vancouver. The everyday hustle rapper stepped off stage around 10.30pm and was immediately confronted by a group of angry fans over his decision to close the show with Not Like Us but TMZ. According to the outlet, about 15 men formed a human wall around Ross and his crew to prohibit them from getting away. And on our new collection, Duo Vibe Capsule Collection. In a bold blend of athleticism and elegance, the Duo Vibe Capsule Collection emerges under the creative vision of Maria Grazia Churi. This collection infuses the essence of sportswear with the storied sophistication of Duo showcasing a harmonious palette of blues, whites, and reds. Central to the collection is Monsieur Dior's beloved lucky star, which finds its way onto an array of pieces, including sweatshirts, undershirts, and hooded jackets, adding a touch of destiny to each item. Dior Vibe is a celebration of motion and the joy of sports, a testament to the enduring modernity of Dior. This capsule collection will be available in select Parisian boutiques starting July 4, 2024, inviting admirers of fashion and athleticism alike to explore a wardrobe that truly surpasses boundaries. And on Spicy or Not, Young Miami leaves little to the imagination on 2024 BET Awards red carpet. Young Miami's fashion deserves some good love. The rapper stunned at the just-concluded 2024 BET Awards, strutting the red carpet in a daring black cutout gown, and a risque top and semi-sheer skirt wearing the only part of her outfit with a unique flair. She also donned two-fingered black gloves to complete the edgy look. This year's BET Awards could be a big night for Miami, who confirmed her breakup with Sean Diddy Combs last year, as she scored a nomination for Best Collaboration, alongside Lola Brooke and Lato for Don't Play With It Remix. And don't forget to catch us up at Spice TV underscore Africa. Until the next episode, do have a lovely time. Bye.